So I wanna let you guys know about a new product I've been working on, I'm really excited about it. We've got a new show all about cars. It's called Techno Buffalo's Driven. We're teaming up with the folks at Revision 3 for a brand new YouTube channel called Tech Feed. Go and check it out. My name is John Rettinger. I'm probably best known uh, from Techno Buffalo. It's a site that I created that focuses on the entire world of technology, from cell phones to laptops and everything in between. Uh, we cover the entire world of consumer electronics. So aside from family, I've got three passions in life. Tech, cars, and sports. We've seen auto videos out there that get really technical. They talk about what a slip differential is and they spend 16 minutes discussing what all-wheel drive means. You get it. I want to spend the time focusing on how the car behaves, how it moves, how fast it can go. I want to take this thing to a drag strip. Think about the tech you have in your smartphone or tablet right now. How does that compare to what you have in your car? You're seeing manufacturers like Tesla that's putting in 17-inch capacitive screens. The car company is realizing that things are shifting. They have to move forward with technology. If you want to just hop in a car, have a cup of coffee, close your eyes, take a nap, wake up your destination, chances are we're gonna be there in a few years. Uh, if you're looking for a comfortable ride, is that gonna be the most thing that's most important to you? Looking for a car that's fast, is zero to 60 important to you? Is stopping time important to you? Is safety important to you? So those are the kind of things that I look at when I evaluate a car. Speaking of which, let's go check out the new RS5. This is the extremely rare Audi RS5. The RS5 packs a huge amount of punch under its 4.2 liter naturally aspirated engine. So when I lifted the hood of the RS5, I almost expected a symphony to start erupting. This is a gorgeous engine. Looks like it would be at home nestled under a Ferrari hood. So we've got, of course, eight cylinders. Go ahead and count them right up, four on each side. We're putting out 450 horsepower and 317 foot-pounds of torque. Red line's at about 8,500 RPM, so you're gonna get maximum torque out of each gear. Uh, so it's running Audi's Quattro system, that's all-wheel drive, but instead of putting all power to all four wheels evenly, as you come around a turn, uh, what it's going to do, it's going to put more torque on the outside tires. So it should essentially feel like these tires are made of glue. So from a styling standpoint, this car is very typical Audi. And there's some cool things that have been done here. If we come on down to the tires, uh, this is the optional titanium package. It's going to give you 20-inch rims. Uh, standard is going to be 19-inch tires. So continue along the side of the car, You've got real big uh, flares in the back. This has been completely redesigned from the oval gas filter, and of course, premium gas in this guy. This is a retractable spoiler. Uh, it's gonna pop up on its own when you hit 75 miles per hour, and it's gonna pop back down when you hit 45. The only thing I wanna do is drive the RS5. I got the key in my pocket. Let's go ahead and give it a whirl. So inside of the car, what's putting that 450 horsepower to the wheels? It's this guy right here. This is a seven speed dual clutch automatic. We don't have a typical e-brake, we've got an electronic parking brake. So you're gonna have to find other ways to have some fun. So this has been our very first drive, first impressions as I step on it. So that wasn't any sort of fancy editing. Uh, that was the noise of the car. That was my head getting thrown back. Uh, driving this car in everyday traffic, uh, it's got too much power to actually use. Uh, Audi's got an inboard 3G uh, radio in here. What that's gonna give you is real-time Google Maps. And Audi's voice to text is pretty good. So if you wanna speak a name or speak an address, uh, it should work very well for you. So one of the nice things Audi has done to customize the ride of this car is with Audi Drive Select. Essentially, it lets you customize the suspension. Uh, you've got comfort, auto, dynamic, and individual. Uh, so we're in dynamic mode, and I can feel every bump. And I'm feeling every bump in my back. So I'll take it off, essentially, as a sport mode, and put it into a comfort mode, see if there's any sort of difference. So after you put it in comfort, it is definitely more comfortable. The vibration that I felt when we were in dynamic or sport mode uh, is pretty much gone. Hey, what's up, Master General's best here? It's your weekly dose of techno loss. It is. We're gonna cover everything from the world of technology. We're gonna talk about air cooling versus water cooling. How to not lock yourself out of your own workstation. The primary use for these guys is ISR, intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance. And can Best Buy really calibrate your HDTV? Let's go ahead and get started.